Yo, what's up? It's your boy EG Dog, aka the Splendid Gamer. I'm back today, a uh, double upload type of day. Um, I just happen to have enough content to finally, you know, try to get a couple videos out. But today we we're running Witchcrafters. I personally like Witchcrafters. I like them a lot better than a lot of these other uh, girl decks, to be totally honest. Um, pretty much all their effects work. You know, um, get rid of a spell card from hand type shit. And, you know, special summon or get rid of a spell to negate effects or pop a card. And I like that. I like that. So right here, we're going to summon Shmaeta. We're going to use Shmaeta effect to get rid of a Witchcrafter spell card. And the beauty of these cards, you get rid of these Witchcrafter spell cards off of effect. At the end of the turn, you can get those spell cards back to your hand. So that's so lit. I'm going to get Madam Very, 2,800 defense. Secret Village of the Spellcasters. I think I locked this dude out early. I'm not even going to lie. I'm over here explaining. And I ended up locking this dude out early. I put a disturbing strategy face down. Secret Village. And I forgot to do my Shmaeta effect. So essentially, I was supposed to have two spells that I could have added back to my hand. And I messed up. Bad. So he drew his jump. I hit him with a disturbing strategy. And boom, he's out of there. <laughs> he's out of there. I ain't gonna hold you, folks. We got this dude up out of here. Yeah, this is one of those clips where I didn't realize, like, you know, this was such a short, like, quick duel. Like, I didn't realize that. But, you know, I had to show y'all this, you know, you can lock people out with this jump. But, you know, here's a long game right here. But yeah, Madam Barry, the the card I just summoned, I could have got rid of a spell and I could have negated his face up monster effects. So whatever he would have had face up on the field, I could have got its effect negated. Not even a target, just whatever is face up. So we got a Shmaeta, we got a Pittery, Backstreet, one day apiece. Let's go ahead. One day apiece, baby. Everybody draw a card. We don't take no damage. Summon Shmaeta. To be totally honest, she's the best one. <laughs> like, she's the best one. Like, out of all the low level witchcraft monsters, Shmaeta is the best one. Special Summon variant. There we go. That's how you always want to open up. I don't care what anybody else tells you. If you want to run in witchcrafters, you always want to open up with a variant on the field and defense. Shmaeta's effect to banish to send a witchcrafter card from my deck to the grave. So I'm going to just send another uh, spell card. And see, the two spells that I got in the grave, I can use those from the field as if they were in my hand. So by street, it has one effect to protect my witchcrafter. Like if it would be destroyed by battle of card effect, it wouldn't be destroyed. Or the other effect, I can pitch it from the field instead of being in my hand. And scroll has an effect of a witchcraft the monster destroys a monster, I can draw one card, and then the second effect I can pitch it from the field as if it was in my hand. So that's cool, you know? Because this whole deck just runs on like spell cards and they all like come back to you. Like that's you know sometimes in some decks certain cards you need to come back. You know? Like, motherfuckers would love to, like, get a monster reborn back, right? <laughs> Put an F in the chat. <laughs> if you could, if you have a way to get a monster reborn back from the graveyard, that's not Magician of Hope. I gotta hit, I gotta see some comments, man. I gotta figure out some new plays, man. Alright, we got another Shmaeta, so we gonna do it again. Same thing. Quick effect. Pitch one of these cards that I got on the field. Which one am I get rid of? Let's get rid of scrolls. And then this is my second favorite right here. Witchcraft the Haney. Your opponent cannot target other spellcaster monsters I control. Her second effect, I could pitch one spell to um destroy one face up. So that's you know lit as well 
I'm gonna send Witchcraft a collaboration because if this guy's playing defense like that, Witchcraft the collaboration is gonna let me uh, have a Witchcraft the monster attack twice, but whenever they declare an attack, uh, my opponent can't activate card effects. So essentially, it gives my Witchcraft a, a Archfiend effect, which is cool. But yeah, see, this guy's playing defense. He had a hyena in defense. Like, I don't know what this man's running or what he's going for. But we're going to end our turn. Oh, yeah. I could have, see, and at that point, I could have popped his monster by getting rid of my boss street. But I didn't want to get rid of my boss street at the time. And see, I didn't get scroll back because I used this original effect to uh, pitch from field. So if I hadn't used that effect, I could have got it back at the end of this turn. Let me see, this guy's playing a long game. He has a shard of greed on the field. Like, who does that? <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie, I do that. <laughs> like, look at him over here knocking this man's hustle. Like, let me stop, man. Like, I, I've been there. I've been there. And that's why we start making these other, like, weird... I won't even say weird. These different archetype decks, you know? Because when you go to tournaments, like, people are running stuff like this. Like, and, you know, you, the best way to, you know, beat it is to play it. Or see it and train it, you know? Like, but sad, surprisingly, I haven't ran into anybody in real life, like in tournaments that run witchcrafters. Yeah, this guy was taking forever. Thank you. You let me go on the tangent for a bit. Oh, look, another witchcrafter collaboration. I'm Gucci. I am Gucci. So, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna uh, get rid of this to pop that. Are you gonna save him? Can you save him? Will you save him? Doors Tornado. Ugly man. I mean, I really don't need the buy street at this point. I mean, cause I mean, if he'll destroy it, I'd still get it back at the end of my turn. <laughs> but Haney, get him up out of here. Thank you. Next call of business. Yeah, we're gonna hit collaboration on Haney. Mm, I don't even really want to summon nobody. Battle phase, swing. 24. Can't respond. See, even if you wanted to, you couldn't. See? Uh, ski, ski. And that's how we get over right there with that witchcraft collaboration. Like what? We get an instance where we can get your life point. Like we like you can chess move somebody to knowing you finna pop some junk on their field, leave their white point, like leave their monster zone clear, and just hit a collaboration. Like okay, yeah, like you finna die. <laughs> like yeah, and add scroll back. Add yeah, beautiful. Just like that, two spell cards back, so now I can do my effects whenever. I can actually pop his shard of greed right now. But yeah, that's any face up, whether it be um, spell a trap or be monster. Now look at this person, double summon. Ooh, hunter owl. Okay, he had a little bit of time. But yeah, I really don't know the direction this guy was going. Oh yeah, he tried to XYZ for some shit. That's right. I forgot what this guy's doing, man. I mean, he was trying, though. I ain't gonna lie. He was trying. For me to have, you know, from this angle, I was in total control of this match. He was trying though. During either player's turn, when another monster effect activated, target a card on the field, detach one to uh, uh, Oh, change a different monster for that effect. Uh, when you XYZ summon a target monster on the field, destroy it. 
So we finna turn this bitch into motherfucking chaining day, like J. Cole. <laughs> uh, I need you to love me, love me. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's get that boy up out of here. Go ahead, yeah. We finna turn this on to chaining day. Let's go. I need you to love me. Love me. Come on. It's chaining day. It's chaining day. It's chaining day. Big old chains. <laughs> Negate. Pop. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you still get your effect, but you ain't finna get that monster, like, at all. <laughs> Chaining day, baby. They even iced out Jesus' hair. Uh. He still got that dumb behind shard degree. Psych! That's the wrong number. Witchcraft the Draper. Go ahead and send that back to your hand, playboy. Go ahead and send that back to your hand, playboy. Uh, Pittery, what's up? Put in some work today. I ain't got nothing good in the grave. So, Valface, Swain for 1k. I could have hit him for two, but I don't like having Madame Vary in attack. That's just how I want run my witchcraft. I just don't. That's my baby. But we about to add a bunch of cards back to our hand, though. One collaboration. Thank you. We about to add one by street back to the field. Thank you. One witchcraft to scroll to the field. You see what I'm saying? You can run this deck at like 40 cards and everything that you use is going to come back with the exception of the few cards that you banish. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, play the shard of greed again because, you know, <laughs> it's the best thing to do right now. But fuck it. I can't knock this man's hustle. Let's go ahead and get rid of his collaboration from here. And we're going to special summon. e -Dale. Let's go. I saw an attack. He ain't played nothing boss yet. 2,000 attack. 2,300. I could discard one spell to special summon one witchcrafter from hand. And then I contribute this card on the field to target one spell cast the monster in my graveyard a special summon. So you could kind of run an Edel in the Dark Magician deck and get Dark Magician back to the field. Like that jump would be like you could do some jump like that. Oh man, he summoned a panda on me. Okay, so we got Jenny and we got Pottery in the hand. Let's go ahead and summon Jenny. I love you, Jenny. Let's go ahead and use Jenny effect. I forgot this dude is just like getting more attack, but it's, it is what it is at this point. I got some jump with more attack than that in here. <laughs> Golem Aurora, baby. I'm going to go ahead and tribute her to get my baby Haney back on the field. See, I'm loyal. You dig what I'm saying? I'm loyal. You know, because I wanted her back on the field so bad to kick this dude ass. You know what I mean? Like, I made sure I got her back from the grave. You did? Like, booyah. Now, I can negate this effect right now, but I'm going to just get him off the field. <laughs> just, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that was another episode of Duel of Sunset. Like, subscribe. We'll be back.